Good day everyone, this is Aldemar Raflor and today we're going to do the laboratory exercise number one, which is the simulation of full wave rectifier. So without further ado, let's get started. The main objective of our laboratory exercise is to demonstrate the operation of full wave bridge rectifier. So we all know that rectifier converts AC power to pulsating DC, which means that we will be able to use now a more stable electricity in powering up our electronic devices. And today we're going to use a circuit simulator called Falstad. So as you can see in the screen and the circuit itself and the waveforms here in the lower part. So our objective here, as what I have said, is to create a full wave bridge rectifier. So we can achieve that goal by just clicking here in the circuits then go to diodes and click full wave rectifier so this is how our full wave rectifier looks like however in order to understand how this thing work and the concepts so we should draw it by ourselves or create it by ourselves so first blank circuit so we can draw our circuit using here or clicking here. First, we go to input and sources. Then add AC voltage source, which have two terminals. Add wires. Here. So basically, what we are going to do here is to um, recreate the circuit that we have seen a while ago. So, draw. So, we're going to add a active component, which is the diode. Here. Add wires. Okay, looks bad. And lastly, <coughs> let's add our load, resistor load. Now let's try to run the circuit that we have created. So run. And there you have it. This is what a full wave rectifier looks like. So let's try to set up this one. This. So the red portion here, this one, it means that the diode is in reverse bias. So it means that there is no current flow, obviously. So and the other way around, the green one here. It means that the diode is forward bias and there is obviously a current flow. So let's run it. And if we wish to set the values for our voltage, so we can just hit it here. I mean the source, so here, 240 volts for the max voltage. And let's set the frequency to the standard one here in the Philippines to 60. Then tap OK. And then for the load, we can also edit that one. Let's set the value to 1000. Or if we want a smaller value, let's say 500. That will do. And there you have it. And then if we again wish to look at the waveform in the source part so we can view it in new scope and there you have it the waveform in the voltage part or as the voltage source in the lower portion the blue um, waveform that's it and in the load part here same thing view in new scope and there you have it the waveform in the load part now if we try to hover our cursor here in our waveforms and try to look at in the lower right corner of our screen, we can see that there are values for the current, the VD, 
the frequency and Vmax which we set a while ago into 60 Hz and 220 volts respectively the VRMS is also given and the power so if you ever wondered how they get the VRMS which is 155.563 volts so try to remember the, val the formula for VRMS which is Vmax over square root of 2 and if we try to input that in our calculator 220 divided by square root of 2 and we have 155.563 and that's how the VRMS is solved so in a nutshell, in creating or simulating our full wave bridge rectifier, we have two ways. First, we can just tap circuits, go to diodes, then tap full wave rectifier. However, if we want to create the circuit on our own and have a better understanding on how this simulator works and how to create full wave rectifier on our own, we can go to draw, then add the necessary parts, which are the source, the wires, the diodes, and the load. So that's how we simulate a full wave rectifier using Falstad, a circuit simulator. So that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. God bless. Keep safe and have a good day. Bye.